US President Joe Biden's son Hunter Biden has pleaded not guilty to gun and tax charges in court in Delaware. Hunter's lawyers had negotiated a plea deal with prosecutors, but the judge refused to accept it in a move that stunned all sides. Our Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen is uh, right across this story as usual. Annalise, why didn't the judge accept this plea deal? Well, look, normally plea deals are accepted because it means both sides have come to an agreement. But in this instance, the judge wasn't happy about a few details, in particular about the immunity that this deal would have brought Hunter Biden against potential future charges. She asked the prosecution if there were any other potential charges coming his way. That's something both sides have to put everything on the table when you're negotiating a plea deal. And one of the issues is they have now said, yes, there could be potential charges coming Hunter's way if this plea deal went ahead. And that would have included breaches of the foreign agent registration regulations, which is a big problem for not just Hunter Biden, but also Joe Biden heading into an election year. This was enough to derail the whole thing for the judge. She said she's not accepting the plea deal, but she also didn't block it either. Now, essentially, both sides have to try and figure out what happens next. But these are serious charges, not just the two tax misdemeanors that Hunter Biden's been accused of, but also the felony gun charges. If he were to be convicted on that, that would potentially carry jail time, which is all very messy for an election year for Joe Biden. Right now, he hasn't been seen today at all. Nothing on his public schedule. It was up to his press secretary to make this statement. Hunter Biden is a private citizen, and this was a personal matter for him. As we have said, the president, the first lady, they love their son and they support him as he continues to rebuild his life. This case was handled independently, as all of you know, by the Justice Department under the leadership of a prosecutor appointed by the former president, President Trump. Hunter Biden did have a full Secret Service escort in and out of court, so not quite a private citizen, but this is going to be something that the White House is going to have to comment on in the future, especially if we see Joe Biden running again, as is his intention. But the other issue here is his drug use. We heard that mentioned with uh, Karine Jean-Pierre in that statement. This has been very much the line from the Biden saying that they're supporting this, his son during this time, and this is where it's all going to get very messy. Mm, okay, Annalise Nielsen, thank you.